Routines are my forte. I live for routines. You know how some people live to eat and some people eat to live? I live for routines. I have my own morning routines, night routines. A lot of routines, I don't even remember what kind of routines I have, but basically I'm a creature of habit and I like to have some sort of a routine so that it is easier on a daily basis. My routine has probably been an inspiration from other people or based on my own timing and my own preference and goals and what I need to achieve, that sort of stuff. I recently saw a video by this girl called Holly Gabriel. Um, she has had her own morning routines. I mean, she's got several morning routines and she copied someone else's morning routine. And I thought that was really inspiring and that's interesting actually. And I wanted to do one of my own. But the problem is, the time I saw that, I was still working. Um, I was pregnant, but I was still working and I had something to do. But as of now, while I'm recording this, I'm on maternity leave as of this week and I'm pregnant, heavily pregnant, with a super active baby boy who is probably due any time now. So I don't know how it's going to work out. I tried to think about whose morning routine I can follow. I should have probably gone for some other pregnant women's morning routine, but I thought it'd be fun to actually follow Holly's own morning routine. She's got several. But the most recent one she's done is back in December of 2020. It's called a productive online university morning routine. So because it's online university, um, I think I can kind of follow it because I still do my own study and my own work from home. Okay, whether it's online reading, learning, whether it's editing or preparing something for this channel. I am going to watch her morning routine. I haven't seen it yet. But I'm going to watch her morning routine now and probably make notes. I should have had like a paper and pen handy to make notes. Okay, this will do. And then I can't find a pen. I'm just going to use this. Um, all right, let's go. I was going to take a quick 10 minutes break for dinner because my dinner was ready. But this is now two hours later and it's gone so dark outside oh well let's start with the video now i'm gonna try and make notes of the time and follow her morning routine tomorrow seven o'clock she snoozes just like me she snoozes for eight or nine minutes which is what i would do not for ten minutes at all i don't know how seven is gonna work for me though i struggle to sleep so i normally wake up pretty early otherwise i would love an extra couple of hours of sleep I agree, waking up to winter is so difficult. I would do that during winter too, but I've just packed up all of my robes and my winter socks and everything yesterday, so I don't have any of them now. What? Two to four mason jars of water? It's a big deal if I were to drink two sips of water first thing in the morning. Oh my goodness. Two to four mason jars. I, I already don't see this happening. Now retainers. Fun fact, I had retainers when I was in school and I lost it because I refused to wear it. I put it in my pocket. I had a lisp with the retainer because my friends were making fun of me. I kept it in my pocket in my school uniform and it fell off somewhere broke. So yeah, that's the tragic ending of my retainer. I agree with that. That's something that I would normally do as well. I kind of plan my to-do list for the day before the night before, which is something I'm going to have to do now in preparation for tomorrow morning if I want to do this tomorrow. I'm not that busy, I'm so sadly. Um, I haven't really got that many things to email, check or even respond. Never done that before. 
Did I miss something? She didn't say any other time apart from the alarm time at 7. I, I don't know. It's almost one minutes into the video, and I've got like a full page of notes already. I haven't got any other time. So, what time is it when she does say any work? 1.5 hours, that's it. Oh, 9.15 now. This is going to be a tough one. The first thing I do is check my phone at whatever time I wake up. She only checks her phone at 9.15 in the morning after she's done uni work, journaling, check her daily list and everything. Okay. That morning run is not happening. No, I'm not doing a morning run. No way am I doing a morning run. I agree with her. I don't even curl my eyelashes on a daily basis. You can see how I look like now. This is what I would do. Breakfast before class at 11. I can't do that. I have one breakfast at 8 in the morning and another one at 10 in the morning. And I get hangry if I don't have my food on time. Oh, I got it wrong. Breakfast at 11.45. I cannot imagine me waiting for breakfast until 11.45. I have lunch at 12. I like her writing. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky. First of all, she spent an hour running. No way am I going to do that. First of all, I don't like running. Secondly, I'm heavily pregnant, so I'm not going to be running now. Um, and I can't wait until 11.45 for breakfast. I'm just going to have to modify. I mean, I'm fine with the part where she spends time doing uni work, checking her daily plans and stuff. But I don't know. We'll have to modify it. Now that I looked at it, I'm like, will I be able to do this tomorrow? Will I be able to pull it off? Do I want to? I would like the challenge. It would be fun to follow someone else's morning routine. Okay, let's give it a go. I shall see you in the morning at 7, hopefully.
Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna Alexa. look back and say I could've done more Switch than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, just start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we, we go on chance and go on life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your worries. Let your problems go on until my whole body burns out. I ain't never gonna slow down. It is so difficult to drink so much water first thing in the morning. I also forgot to put my messenger in the fridge, so ice cold water it is, but... You know when I was watching the video last night, I thought she meant two to four mason glasses of water. But she meant two full mason jars of water. I had one. And I'm heavily pregnant. I'm definitely not going to be able to drink another cup without sitting in the loo for God knows how long. So, forget it. One glass it is. I don't do bullet journaling, but I use Notion, so I have all of my to-do list and everything in Notion itself. I haven't really got much to do today. I've got um, a consultant's appointment later this morning at about half eleven, so I need to leave around about quarter past eleven. And yeah, I'm just going to do some editing instead. So. After she's done her bullet journaling and checking her daily list or weekly plan, she then checks her emails for half an hour and then she does her uni work for about one and a half hour or so. I am going to pray for the half an hour that she checks her emails because, let's face it, <laughs> I haven't got as many emails to get back to anyway. Um, that isn't so much of a concern, so I'm going to pray for half an hour and then get some editing done in the time that she spends for her uni work and then I'll come back and check in with you what you gonna do now we only go on chance and go on life to live and it's do or die gotta make it count Alexa what's in today's news What's the weather like today? It's slightly past 8 o'clock now. Holly only has her breakfast at about 11.45 in the morning. That is considered almost lunchtime for me because I have lunch at 12. And in fact, I have two breakfasts now while I'm pregnant. Um, I've already got my smoothie served to me at my desk, so I'm going to have this. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to skip breakfast or wait until 11.45 for it because I do have a hospital appointment and I have to eat before that also. So I'm going to finish this and then continue with my editing. It's half nine now and I feel so productive already. I spent the last hour and a half editing a video and I'm almost done with it. I just need to clean it up here and there and fix a little bit of um, you know, the volume and the colour correction and stuff and then I'll be done probably another 15-20 minutes work. So because I finished that now, I've come into the room. I'm going to spend about half an hour on my phone. I am going to get ready for the day now. Um, obviously I didn't do my run. But I've got a few other appointments today, so I feel like I need a bit of concealer to kind of wake me up. Um, usually I wouldn't bother with a concealer at all, but because I've got a few other things and I didn't sleep well, 
at all last night. I'm going to try and um, look awake. I don't need to do like a full face of makeup or anything because we wear masks everywhere, so that's fine. I wouldn't normally brush up my eyebrows or curl my lashes, but I agree that it does wake you up, you know, it does make you look a little bit more put together. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to use this viewfinder here and I really, really hope I don't clip my eyelids together. You can hardly see anything here. Ow. Ow. Did it even work? I think it did. Yeah, that's good to know. I'm going to use a bit of an eyeliner also and finish it off with a bit of a lip balm. Okay, so I wouldn't wear earrings on a daily basis because we always have masks on. You know, sometimes when you put on your mask and take it off when you're out and about, it tends to pull on the earrings also. Usually I wouldn't, but today I'm just going to do that. And my wedding ring, and that's me. Done for the day. It is around about half ten now and I'm ready for the day now already. And I am going to have my breakfast at the moment. I won't be able to wait until 11.45 at all because I'm already starving at the moment. So I'm going to have my breakfast and finish off my editing before I have to leave for my hospital appointment. I think this would be a good time to finish this video. Copying someone else's morning routine is not as easy as it may seem. It has become a routine for someone else, but not for you when you're doing it for the first time. And it's also not necessarily appropriate all the time. No two people are the same at all. Holly is a university student living at home. She's quite athletic because she runs every morning and she's a postgraduate student. So she has online classes every morning. She has to juggle between so many other things. I, on the other hand, am on my maternity leave at the moment and I'm heavily pregnant. I'm 38 weeks currently while I'm doing this. I thought it would be fun to actually follow someone else's routine but it was quite eye-opening what works for someone doesn't necessarily work for you all the time i can't drink so much water fasting in the morning had i counted how many times i went to the loo this morning because of that one extra messenger of water that i had i would have probably broken my own record of going to the toilet in a whole day rather than just the morning you know and um, obviously i don't run i can't run when i'm 38 weeks pregnant at the moment and i have got nothing else to study um, but i worked on my own stuff what i thought was really good is not using the phone first thing in the morning and putting your phone away from where you are because i didn't have it on my work desk this morning while i was editing i was far more productive with my editing than i used to be in the past i left my phone in my bedroom and i was sitting in my office room doing my work although i was tempted to look at my phone i didn't want to get up and come and pick up my phone to look at it I thought that was really good. Overall, I actually had fun following someone else's morning routine. I've never done anything as spontaneous as this because I only decided yesterday, followed her video and then filmed it today with no pre-planning whatsoever at all. But I thought it was a nice thing to do and I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you pick up bits and pieces that might be useful for you also. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye.